Hi everyone, welcome back to the Leonardo um, AI, how to use Leonardo AI video, another Leonardo AI video. Um, in a previous video, I had t I covered how to work with uh, certain aspects of the mask, but last night I was actually working on something for a story, I was creating a, something and I came up with um, a couple of pictures and I said, ooh, I can actually kind of show everybody how to do that if you don't know it already. Now, what I have here um, are two pictures. I brought them up from my computer using this icon right here, upload image. And it, you know, the images are there. But what you want to do is you want to actually move these over here. And just kind of, you know, move it around. It'll do that. It'll actually pile all the images on top of it. You can, I, I don't remember how many, up to how many images you can have. But I like to keep it to two because I like to keep my life less complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to already have like a similar background. I think I might change that in a minute, but I have changed it to stable diffusion 2.1 because stable diffusion 1.5 tends to be temperamental. Not that they're not all temperamental, but more so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just situate them like this. Um, maybe give them a little bit more room. Put this one right here. Try to keep them as even as possible. Right. And I'm actually going to put the box so that it can touch both pictures. Um, that's where that same background um, is going to work. Same background. All right. So let's take a look at what the rendering will come up with. Wow, that is pretty cool. Let's see what the next one is. Yeah, this one. This one definitely wins the day right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to accept this. Now we're going to situate it over here. Make sure it's as even as possible or as even as you can get it. Um, and I'm going to use the same command of the same background. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to accept. So there you have it. I mean, if you're looking at something like this, you would never really know that I had used you know, an editor to kind of put this together, to put two separate images together. It looks really consistent, um, which means that you can definitely have a good amount of fun and you can do a lot of editing um, with two separate photographs that you think should be put together. One thing I do say is that we, I'm going to go back to the, um, uh, uh, the previous lesson video. And I did want to make a slight change on here because it looks like I'm actually drinking a beer as the top is like some kind of a dip. So I'm going to make that change. But you can go ahead and, you know, in this image, you can go ahead and edit it however you want. So I'm going to go ahead and use the mask. And I'm just going to put, actually, let me speed this up and put this a little bit bigger. Yes. Okay. All right. Move. When I'm done with this, I'll move over the screen here. Move this over here. Remember, you have to actually use this select to move this screen over here. All right, so the mask is here. Let me make sure I get all of that. Now I'm good. Don't worry about it. And I'm going to put in, you know, you know, a glass or a cup of beer. Of beer. Go ahead and generate. Nice. Okay. I'll go for the not half drunk beer part. Let that be. Cool. So again, you can definitely go ahead and play around with your images and add whatever you need to add and take out and edit however you want. Just have fun with it. So that's all for today. If you like this video, of course, like, subscribe, comment, um, 
go ahead and, and of course share this if you feel it's useful um, and I'll put like I said I'll put in the other videos in my description and I'll see you guys in the next video have a great day